subscribe to my channel okay so this video is on the geography field project report so if you're writing the geography field project report you're in luck because i did some previous videos which you should definitely check out um this video is on a sample on chaco Bend, so i'm not explaining a lot if you want more explanations on all the aspects of the geography field project report be sure to check out my other videos that i did in this video i'm just walking through a sample of uh, a project on Chaco Bene. I already did a sample on tourism and I'm doing another sample on either population or mining in Zambia. You should comment down below which uh, pro uh, report I, I should do, the sample I should do. That's the last video I'm doing on the geography project series. Right, so the project, as I said in the other video, starts with the table of contents and the table of contents contains everything, the acknowledgements, the dedication, declaration, introduction and so on. Just go on. And these are a typical of a project. It doesn't mean that each project should contain this. No. Each project is different. It differs from school to school, teacher to teacher. So your teacher or uh, may pre be preferring another uh, uh, another another format and another teacher will prefer another format. But this is typical of a project, like everything which I'm talking about. So as I said in the previous videos, it starts with the acknowledgement. In the acknowledgement, you just acknowledge uh, the people who helped you with it. Maybe your teachers or anyone like that. Then you move on to the dedication, you dedicate it to anyone again. Then declaration again, declaration you declare that people, no one helped you, you did it by yourself. Then of course we're introducing on uh, the introduction, on the introduction right, on the topic at hand. So the topic at hand is Chaco Beni. Chaco Beni, you introduce Chaco Beni, you write what you're going to write to talk about. Or on Chaco Beni, or any other topic which you've been given. Then the background, in this case, we are researching on the, 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 the area of study was Lusaka. So that's the background we're going to write about. The background is always on the area of study which you've been given. Right? And then you go to the map, the location. The location, that's where you put the map. Uh, or you can either put the map in the appendix. It's, I, it's fine either way. Don't forget to watch my other videos where I explain more on this. Yeah. Check out my geography project series, which I'll link up in the description below. Be sure to read the description, and if you want help, don't hesitate to reach out to me, to me uh, on Facebook, uh, on Instagram, or you can comment your questions, and I'll be able to answer it. I'm always here for you. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we were talking about the, pro the, the problem statement. The problem statement. Be sure to check out my other video where I explain what the problem statement is. But this is the problem statement on the sample which I'm providing right now, just the day. Then we go to the objectives of study. These are the objectives of study on the sample for Chapa Benin. Then the research questions. Then after the research questions, you go to the rationale and significance of the study. And the rationale, the significance of the study, right? Why it is important to carry on the topic and why it is important to provide the solutions. Because these projects are being given to provide solutions. They're not, they're not just decorations, no. they're providing solutions to a certain problem so that the relevant stakeholders of the government can adopt these. So take it serious. It's your exam and also we're getting solutions from them. Then we go to the definition of key terms, though it differs project to project. Some, de uh, some projects will miss the definition of key terms, some will have the definition of key terms. Uh, you define the key terms in your project, in the definition of key terms, in the literature you, have, you write about the past studies which have been done about a particular topic. This case it was Chaco, on Chaco Beni. So this was on uh, the, the past studies which have been done on Chaco Beni. And as you can see, you quote the pre what previous people had said. For example, on the environmental impact, uh, we see charcoal production involves the cutting down of trees and subsequ subsequent carbonization leading to deforestation and loss of biodiversity. Smith et al. 2019. You see, that's a quote from a book that Smith wrote, Smith wrote it with others, it all means others. So you can um, reach out to me, reach out to me and I'll be able to help how to quote in the literature review as you are quoting your past studies which have been carried out. Then the methodology you write on the methods used to obtain uh, that data. There are two types of methodologies, just like I explained in the other videos. Be sure to check out my other video. I will link it in the description below. So don't forget to check the description or, or don't forget to check the other videos. Just, just click on the channel and you'll, be, you'll see the other videos, which I did on the geography project. I also did a sample on tourism. So this one is on Chaco Bay. Then the limitation of study, you write what limited you during your research. Then the data presentation you present your data which you obtained during your research in tables charts uh, pictures 
so if you want help putting these charts in, uh, putting these charts line graphs and buys on your few projects don't hesitate to contact me but disclaimer i do it at a charge i charge so talk to me nicely and i'll be able to help you <laughs> data interpretation so you interpret the tables which you have written so you say according to this figure which you have written previously up there according to this figure according to figure two according to picture one which you've written in the data presentation part so your data presentation you are presenting your data data interpretation you are interpreting you are interpreting your data I almost made a mistake. <laughs> almost did my bank. Conclusion conclude by saying that how um, uh, you can address the problem or the topic at hand. And then after the conclusion, you go to the recommendation. Now the recommendation is freestyle. These are your recommendations. What do you recommend should be done to improve on uh, a particular topic which you've been given which is at hand? Then the appendix is where you attach the map, the questionnaire, the sur any survey which you took out. You put it in the appendix. Then the references, don't start. You quote the books you use, the newspapers, if you use newspapers, if you use Facebook, you also put the link there. This is where the reference in short is evidence that you did this. Okay? Yes. So thank you very much guys and thank you very much for those who have stuck up to the end of the video. Now why don't you just subscribe? Subscribe and support. Okay? Subscribe, share to those who need help. If you know a friend who is struggling, be a brother's keeper, be a sister's keeper. Just share the video. Don't be so <laughs> Alright, thank you guys. And I hope you will subscribe to this uh, channel. Because it will change your life. If you just check out the video, uh, you'll be sure to be impacted. Alright, thanks.